Here's a quick tutorial on how to use the on-page audit tool inside Search Atlas. Step one is to take the URL of the page you wish to audit. In this example, we're going to take a personal injury attorney in Miami. So we're going to take that URL, plug it into the URL section here, and then we're going to de define up to three keywords separated by commas that we're trying to get this page to rank for. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to select a singular keyword. So I'm going to do Miami personal injury lawyer. And here I'm going to set a micro location. By default, this is going to be the United States, but you simply click it and you can either do country level targeting, state, province, city, or county. So I'm going to set the location as Miami, Florida. And then I'm going to hit run the audit. Once you run the audit and it's complete, you're going to simply hit view audit. Now this audit will look at your page in direct comparison to the top performing localized competitors for the given keyword in the given market. You get some top level metrics here, your content score, your domain rating, the strength of the backlinks pointing to that page, your overall technical score, as well as your speed on mobile and desktop. The first module here is content. This is a side-by-side -side comparison, looking at the top 10 sites that are currently ranking on page one of organic search for the target keyword in the target market. The page that we imported has a content score of 59. The average content score of the top competitors is a 68. This particular site is ranking in position nine, so they're listed here in purple. But what we can see at first glance is that our content score is slightly lower than the average in this market. The next module is going to look at word count. Our word count for this page is 1,637. The average word count is closer to 3,000. And again, we're pulling the averages based off of the top ranking sites. Here we get presented with the readability. Everyone seems to be writing at a high school or collegiate level, so there's nothing to improve here. Down here, we get the current composition of page one and page two of search results. We see the domain authority, the domain rating, the referring domains pointing to the page in question, the spam score, the speed, the load time, the content score, words in the title, word count of the page, readability, and traffic level domain. Down here, we're looking at the page structure itself. So the checks here are looking at, is the target keyword, in this case, Miami Personal Injury Lawyer, is that target keyword being utilized frequently within the body of text on the page? Is the keyword appearing frequently enough per 100 keywords being used on the page? Is the keyword contained in the H1 tag or is the keyword contained in any of the H2 through 6 tags? Is the keyword contained in the title tag? Do we have any strong B elements on the page as well? As we scroll further down, we're getting a topical terms list. This is scanning the content of our page and looking at have we included high intent keywords within the copy and have we hit the right frequencies of those keywords we're also presenting the monthly search volume of all of the individual keywords now what you'll notice here these are not just variations of personal injury law but these are overlapping keywords concepts phrases and ideas that google is expecting to see on the actual page that's trying to rank for this keyword in this section, we're looking at overlapping backlinks, and this is simply looking at, are there shared backlinks between the top ranking sites on page one of search for the given keyword? In this example, YouTube has links to, th uh, to four competitors, as well as Cornell has links to four competitors. The bottom section here is showing us internal and external link opportunities. So we're scanning the piece of content that was imported. We're looking for topics such as, for example, personal injury claim. 
and we're looking to see, are there other related blogs, pages, or guides on the site that would make logical internal linking opportunities based off the keywords included in the content? If the internal link is already present, we're going to give you a little green check mark, let you know if the link is in the body, footer, header, or navigation. And if the internal link has not been used, uh, then it's just simply going to be a little gray X that indicates there's an opportunity to add an additional internal link. Scroll back up to the top here. We get spot checks on our metadata. So are we using the right keyword in our title tag? Is our title tag within the recommended character counts? Is the target keyword in the meta description? Is the meta description within the character counts? Do we have a canonical tag? If so, has that been set up correctly? Are there any robots meta tags on the page level? Is the sitemap and robots.txt file set up correctly? Have we missed any headers? Do we have any duplicate headers? That's going to be flagged here. Have we included alt image text for all the images on that page? If there are videos, we're going to validate that they're set up correctly. If there are iframes, we're validating if that's set up correctly. We're also scanning the internal and external links to indicate are they do follow or no follow? Are they redirected URLs? Are they 404 URLs, right? Are there any issues with our internal or external links? Do we have schema on the page? If we do have schema on the page, is that schema been set up correctly? If the schema is not set up correctly, the tool will prompt you to go to our schema creator tool instead. We're checking the social links as well as the JavaScript files. At the top, we get a diagnosis of performance on mobile and desktop. We have a definition of each phrase here, as well as an indication of what the healthy range is for each metric and where the site currently is performing against each metric. All of these issues are then summarized from the view issues tab. We're seeing here items that we can fix. So adding missing alt image text attributes, trimming down that title, cleaning up the HTML of the page, including Twitter meta metadata, adding meta descriptions, updating the canonical tags, updating the headers. And down here, we're seeing all the things that are set up properly with this page, right? So this is a full diagnosis of the technicals, the content, and the authority of a particular web page in relation to its local competitors. If you fix these issues, you can rerun the analysis and validate that your changes have been set up properly. If you need to share this, the URL is publicly shareable. The user does not need to be logged in to view this report. You simply copy the URL and send it to the recipient. If you want to download this report, you simply hit generate report and download. If one of the big takeaways here is to improve the quality of the content, as we see here, we're slightly deficient. You can simply hit the optimize content button, which would then import this page and that target keyword into our content assistant. So you can directly improve the web copy. Thank you.